trapped in there doesn't have much time. Help! It's getting hard to breathe! <sighs> Don't worry, I'll get you out! <clears throat> ah! My luck, now I'll get busted for smoking in public. Web sling, ah! And me without my marshmallows. classic example of a guy who's all talk. When push came to shove, it turned out his mouth wrote a check his butt couldn't cash. impress myself. I almost died just then. Of boredom. Many of the petty criminals apprehended by Spider-Man turned out to be wanted on far more serious charges. Mm. to find another way.
save that hostage fast. in there. and bystanders for them to get. Witnesses say Spider-Man used precision timing to stop the car without risking bystanders' lives. If this costume made my butt look big... Car 42. We have reports of fighting, possibly gang-related, in Central Park, Southwest Corner. Can you check it out? Dispatch said it was the Southwest Corner of the park. I should be first on the scene. Huh. Just a few blocks. That's the spider swings. This is Whitney Tang with an editorial comment. Early polls on the Osborne State announcement show broad public support. Citizens are tired of the crime wave and have doubts about the mysterious figure known as Spider-Man, despite all the good he's done. Uh, so what else is new? But I've obtained the records of the officers on the task force. They show allegations of corruption and police brutality. None of it proven, but still, are these the people we want to trust with this kind of power? bothering you. You think because I took down Herman Schultz, it means I like him more. That's just not true. You'll get the same up-close and personal attention. I promise. Oh, snap! If you were awake, you'd be impressed. Huh. Now to find the one that got away. Hey, wrapping up bad guys is my thing. What the? I can help you? Okay, Mr. Craven the Hunter. You got my attention. We have shots fired at the bus station. Proceed with caution. Suspects heavily armed. All units, officers are under fire at the bus station. Need assistance immediately. Spider-Man! 
Blast. I might just have a future of this. Spider Man. I like. Impressive. But you are still raw. Inexperienced. I was experienced enough to beat your friends. I am Russian. But I am no friend to those pigs. My name is Sergei Kravenov. Men call me Craven the Hunter. So you left me that note. Huh. Judging from the web, you're one of those crazy reality show guys who runs around naked in the woods eating bugs. How can you help me? I can make you a true hunter. Not just a boy pretending to be a man. Should you wish to accept, you may find me here. Until we meet again. Parker, why didn't you get me pictures from the Fisk Osborne press conference? Oh, sorry, Mr. Jameson, but I've got school. You know, life outside the job. In my day, your job was your life. A press pass is wasted on you. Actually, I just got an idea for using my press pass. I've got to admit, it would be nice not to feel like I'm fighting this battle on my own. Is Craven someone I can trust? Craven obviously doesn't know who I really am, or he would have come to my house. I don't know. I've always worked best alone. But then again, I've never tried it any other way. If Craven can teach me his hunting techniques, I won't have to rely on police broadcasts to find bad guys. It's not like I'd tell Craven my real name. And I'll be on guard for any kind of double cross. I've never had formal training in how to fight. Craven's methods could come. <sighs> okay. Don't be nervous. You need information on Craven, and you've got a press pass to get it with. <laughs> Easy peasy. Never mind that if he finds out you're a photographer and not a reporter, he'll have you stuffed and mounted. Mr. Kravenoff? It's me, Peter Parker, from the Daily Bugle? We, we spoke on the phone? Uh, Mr. Kravenoff? <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. <laughs> I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But 
I grew fond of your city, and your city grew fond of me, <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No! Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And what are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors. Many travel in packs, but there are differences. Such as? Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. This new task force is sending a pretty strong message. No vigilantes. Ah, I do not trust them. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. The rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. To get results. Based on my experience, the uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh, don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but to refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yeah. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it is to be unworthy of it. Well, thanks. I think our readers will find this very interesting. Good, good. I must take this call. But please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes? No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! Get a clear shot. Great composition. Now that's a keeper.
Couldn't ask for a better picture. Pardon the interruption. Would you care to see my latest trophies? Spider-Man captured them. An inadequate solution. They escaped. So you killed them? To save the lives of their victims, yes. But also in self-defense. They were deadly opponents. I know. I mean, I can imagine. When do you consider it okay to kill? When there is no other choice. I do not take life lightly. But when it is necessary, I do not hesitate. If my failure to act cost the life of an innocent person, I could not live with myself. I know what you mean. Hunting criminals. Some people might wonder if you're the carnage killer. <sighs> he is no hunter. But a brute, a savage. His very existence is offensive to men like myself. So even though he's hunting criminals, you'd like to take him down? Of course. He dishonors what I do. Without honor, Peter, the hunt means nothing. They all had superhuman powers. How'd you beat them? I have trained myself to the peak of human ability and learned many natural means of enhancement. Not drugs, like the scum who pollute the streets, but the secrets of native cultures. Herbs, potions, mysteries forgotten by so-called civilized man. Last question. Is there anything you haven't accomplished yet? Ah, uh, yes. I would like to leave a legacy when I am gone. Pass my training to a protege. My only family is a brother who... Well, he chose a different path. I never had a son, but... Perhaps... Uh, forgive me. I am becoming melancholy as I get older. So, do you have what you need, Mr. Parker? Yeah, I think I do. this? That's no way to talk to a lady. Or even me. Uh, Felicia, this is the number I gave Whitney Chang. How'd you get it? The name's Black Cat, as in Cat Burglar. As in I get my hands on things I'm not supposed to. How about you, Spider? Do you ever get your hands on things you're not supposed to? I heard you were back in jail. Listen, if you're calling to tease me about breaking out... I'm insulted. I can think of a lot more fun things to tease you about. If you're smart, you'll get out of town before I find the time to chase you. Funny. That's what I was going to say to you. Things are getting dangerous around here, Spider. Why don't we chase each other out of town, hmm? I'm too busy to fool around with you. I, I mean, play games with you. Bye, Felicia.
Guess I should go check in with my hairy personal trainer, Craven. I knew you would come. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas about me being your sidekick. But I'm on the trail of the Carnage Killer, and tracking's a little out of my wheelhouse. Ah, yes, the Killer. I thought he might be you. But I have watched you, and I see that you are no madman. You spied on me? Only briefly. There is much a hunter can learn from observation. I see. The way you carry yourself like a lost child. That you lack someone to guide you. To help you become a man. I have no son of my own. I do not want my legacy to die with me. I can make you the ultimate hunter. Let us work together to... To find this carnage killer. And suppress the crime wave. Let us do together what we could not do alone. I'm still gonna operate on my own. Of course. As will I. But we will be there for each other when it is needed. I sent you an address. There is a back alley from which the Russians move stolen Oscorp equipment to a safe house. Use the little fish to catch the big ones. Yeah, I've heard that before. It is tempting to catch the easiest prey, but in our case, the most obvious criminals are the most inconsequential. Wait. Follow them. See where they go. I get that, but I'm not gonna let anyone get hurt. If I see these guys threatening someone's life, they're going down. Illegal money is usually paid in cash. If you follow low-level criminals as they drop off their earnings, they will lead you to the next rung of the ladder. You are doing well. Now listen. Higher-level criminals prefer to keep a low profile. But just as animals must visit the watering hole, they must collect their money and pay. Those above them. I'll give them this. The way these guys hustle all over the city, they're getting one heck of a cardio workout. Often the highest level criminals will lead you to legitimate businesses that serve as a front to launder the illegal income. It is here you will find their bosses who pretend at respectability. <laughs> I have to admit, Craven, all this is leading me to the big fish I never used to find before. Thanks. Like a pride of lions. Neither fear an outside predator. They will call their soldiers together for protection. And every crook in New York is afraid of the carnage killer. When I find where they're holed up, it'll be like one-stop shopping. You are learning. But stealth is crucial. Even you cannot fight all of them at once. There he is! Kill him! I get that, but I'm not gonna let anyone get hurt. If I see these guys threatening someone's life, they're going down. Illegal money is usually paid in cash. If you follow low-level criminals as they drop off their earnings, they will lead you to the next run of the ladder. 
get a photo of that crate of Oscorp tech, so I can trace it. This crate is heavier than your mother! If you drop that, I'm not taking the blame for you! Quick, get the crate loaded before someone sees us! Shot. That Oscorp tech will go to their superiors. Do not lose sight of it. I'll stick to it like, well, me. Tips are paying off. I'm guessing this isn't a restaurant guide. The Carnage Killer. These must be all the places where he killed these guys' friends. A lot more than the police know about. I know what Craven would say. A clearer picture of the Predator's hunting grounds. <laughs> 